Hi guys, this is Sushant. Today we are going to talk about what high and low metabolism is. So, in the previous video we talked about what metabolism is. So, metabolism is the set of processes where some things break and some things build up in our body. So, um, those set of processes where some things are breaking down and some things are building up in our body are called, uh, are combinedly called metabolic processes and the process of those process happening is called metabolism. Now, um, in com so so our, I also mentioned this that in my previous video that uh, you your body burns energy while breaking things and building things up. So that energy, in general terminology, is called metabolism. Although those happening of those processes is metabolism, but in German uh, in general terminology. The energy that is burned in those processes is called metabolism and the energy that our body burns is measured in calories, we have talked about this. Now I want to mention one thing at this point that if in any video, in any of my video you do not understand anything, for example metabolism, high metabolism, BMR, maintenance calories or whatever, if you do not understand anything you can go and check my previous videos out, 90, I'm 99% sure almost 100% sure that I have talked about anything uh, that is being used in my current video in my past videos uh, and if I haven't talked about anything uh, that I'm talking about in this video then I would mention it explicitly in this video that I'm going to talk about this in my future videos uh, you if so most probably uh, if anything is used in my current video I have most probably talked about it in my previous videos. You can also, uh, you can search in my videos on my channel or you can search on YouTube. Uh, for example, if you want to search about BMR, you can search uh, by typing BMR and my name Sushant Kocher, BMR space Sushant space Kocher. So you will get my videos about BMR. Uh, so you can check my previous videos. So I am following a continuous process. So anything I'm explaining in this, pre in this video, if it needs some uh, knowledge of some other things, I have most probably talked about those things in my previous videos. And if I haven't talked about those things, I mention that I'll talk in my future videos. Okay, now what high metabolism is? So the energy that our body is burning uh, in those breaking and building processes, if our body is burning high amounts of energy in those processes, then we have high metabolism. If our body is burning low amount of energy in those processes, breaking and building processes, then we have low metabolism. Now high and low are relative to something. They are not absolute. So if I am the only guy on the planet, on earth, and I say, oh, I have high metabolism, then I have high metabolism, then whom? There, is some, there should be someone for reference. So uh, people with high, are said to be having high, high metabolism is if their metabolism is on a higher scale than an average human's metabolism, if they are said to be on lower metabolism, if they lie on a lower scale than average human metabolism. So uh, that is how you know high metabolism, your body burning mm, a lot of calories, more calories, high number of calories in just the metabolic processes breaking and building process, anabolism and catabolism. Okay, so um, a person having high BMR is more likely to have high maintenance calories than a person having low BMR, given that they both are in same condition. I'll explain that with an example. Uh, so suppose there are two guys, P1 and P2, person 1 and person 2. P1 has a BMR of 2000 calories. That means P1 is going to burn 2000 calories if P1 is lying down on bed all day and P2 has a BMR of 1500 calories. Now uh, we can take one case where P1 and P2 both do exercise, uh, decent intensity exercise for 5 days. So and the rest of the things that they do in their daily, uh, daily lifestyle are same. So uh, maintenance of P1 is 3100 multiplying the BMR by 1.55. If you do not understand this, you can go check my videos on how to calculate maintenance calories. You, you will understand all that. So maintenance of P2 comes out to be 2325 multiplying 1500 by 
Now you see, I had more, so B1 had more BMR, so maintenance is more. P2 has lesser BMR, so maintenance is lesser when they were given the same conditions. Okay, um, now let us take a case where P1 does no exercise, just sits on the couch, watches TV for the whole day, goes goes to the bathroom and goes to the kitchen, brings some food, eats and sits on the couch all day long. Uh, whereas P2 goes to the gym, does decent in, uh, intensity exercises for 6 days in the week. Now in this case, P1 would get a maintenance of 2400, 2000 multiplied by 1.2. P2 would get a maintenance of 2573. 1500 multiplied by 1.75 now you can see in this case where the circumstances where the conditions both were having were not same so the person having more bmr can have lesser maintenance calories person having lower bmr can have more maintenance calories because they were not given the same conditions uh, one was exercising decent with a decent intensity intensity six days a week and the other one was just sitting on the couch for six days for the whole week so, person having low BMR can have more maintenance than a person having higher BMR but if given the same conditions, the person with more BMR will have more maintenance. So that is why we usually uh, interchange BMR with, men, uh, with uh, metabolism because when you compare two people, you would compare them on similar conditions, you would not compare a guy's strength with a girl's strength. So when you are comparing two people, you would compare them on similar in similar circumstances. That is why when you are comparing two people on similar uh, conditions, person having more BMR comes out to be having more maintenance. So we say one having more metabolism means one having more BMR directly without talking about maintenance calories. Okay. Now uh, there is one thing to note that if in this case when they both were working out five days a week. P1 had a maintenance of 3100 calories, P2 had a maintenance of 2325 calories. Let's say they both eat 2500 calories. Now, on 2500 calories, P1 will be burning 3100 calories per day, but he's eating just 2500 calories, so he'll start losing weight. While P2 is eating 2500 calories and burning just 2325 calories, so he'll start gaining weight. I've talked about this in my calorie deficit, calorie uh, surplus videos, maintenance calories videos. So if you observe two people eating same amount of food in the whole day, doing same set of work, same set of exercise, everything same, but one is losing weight, one is gaining weight. That is because they have different BMR. Now people having more uh, higher BMR would are more likely to be skinny more likely to be thin the reason is that their body burns a lot of energy uh, because they have a high bmr so their body would burn off whatever they eat their body would also burn off any extra fats if they have for in the first place they it is hard for them to gain extra fats but um, if they have gained by some means then their body would start burning off those extra fats as well because their body burns a lot of energy while uh, talking about a person who has low metabolism, that person burns off, that person's body burns off lesser energy in the breaking and building processes happening in the body. So the person would have low BMR, having low BMR, the person is likely to have lower maintenance. Uh, I explained that having more BMR is directly proportional to having more maintenance. So we, we in similar conditions and we generally talk in similar conditions so we can interchangeably use the word bmr and metabolism so we can say oh having more metabolism means more bmr because we are dealing in same condition now more like uh, the person having low bmr is more likely to be not so thin uh, or more likely to be fat uh, because their body burns lesser energy uh, in general when they are, even when they are at rest, even when they are working out, their body burns lesser energy as compared to the people having high BMR. Now you know the reason why some people eat too much food, but still they are skinny and some people eat very little and still they are fat uh, or not skinny. 
the reason is difference in the their PMRs. Uh, so if you are a girl thinking, oh, I eat so less and still I'm fat, and look at that girl eating so much and still uh, skinny, the reason is the difference in the PMRs. Now, is it that you're cursed for the rest of your life? Uh, not exactly. So you can change your BMR, you can do changes in the BMR of your body. So first of all, BMR is um, comes your BMR comes to you by your genetics, by heredity. So your genet genes define what your BMR is going to be. But there are some ways with which you can change your BMR. Uh, you can increase it or decrease it. I'm going to be talking about those ways in my next one or two videos. Uh, for this video, uh, this should be enough. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.